Bernardo, you are well known for opposing the concept of AI consciousness. Uh, I'd like to know why. I think um, we mistake a simulation for the thing simulated when it comes to consciousness, even though we don't make that mistake for anything else. For instance, I, I can run a accurate simulation of kidney function on my laptop at home or my computer on my desktop at home at the molecular level, super accurate simulation of kidney function. But I would have no reason to think that when I run that simulation, my desktop would be on my desk, right? Because the simulation of kidney function does not have the causal powers of kidney function. For instance, uh, another simulation, a simulation of a black hole. I can simulate a black hole very accurately on my desktop. It doesn't mean that when I run that simulation, I will be sucked in. But when it comes to consciousness, we think the desktop will be on the desk or will suck me in because we mistake the simulation for the thing simulated. Because we are so confused about consciousness, we lose our natural sense of plausibility. So um, if, if under materialism, the uh, entire nature of consciousness can ultimately be reduced to something having to do with the physics or biochemistry or neurophysiology, whatever, uh, whatever level of our brains, I think we would, we, you and I would agree that AI consciousness would be possible under materialism. Is that right or wrong? Yes, but I think... Because if you, under a technology, not, not what the guys in Silicon Valley say 20 years, 30 years from now, but 50,000 years from now, 100,000 yeah. years from now, under, under a super advanced technology, it would not be AI would be possible in principle, however long the engineering would take. Yes, and then I think it would look like organisms, artificial organisms. Yeah, okay. And then in that case, the quest for AI sentience would be one and the same with the quest for artificial abiogenesis, the creation of life from non-life. If you create an organism that metabolizes, I think it stands to reason it would be yeah. conscious. Or, 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 or making whatever the physical characteristics are, because if, if, if materialism is the real world, everything works by, you know, at whatever, at whatever level. And if you, sim if you are able to recreate that, you can define it as an organism or, 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 or any, anything else, it's fine. Uh, yeah, that's the principle of um, multi-instantiations, like uh, birds can fly and airplanes are not birds, but airplanes can fly too. Right, right. There is nothing incoherent about it. I think the question is, do we have reasons to take this hypothesis seriously if the artificial construct uh, in question is a silicon computer? I would say no, we have no reason to think yeah, a silicon I, computer. Certainly, is. certainly uh, simulation is not reality. That's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but to create the reality, whatever it takes, and we don't know what it takes. I mean, even if you have a perfect connectome, you know, every, every synapse and who goes to which, I mean, that's still orders of many orders of magnitude too weak to be able to have it. But we, we're talking in principle. However, you know, given in, in, in an unlimited amount of engineering progress, you know, can it work? Yes. I mean, if you would be able to take individual molecules yeah, yeah, and yeah, 3D yeah. print them exactly, in a sure. way that will look like biology, sure. because nature's telling us that um, um, individual conscious agency correlates with biology. Right. We don't have any other instance right, sure, sure, of sure. that correlation sure. in nature. Sure. Sure. So that's what we have reasons to believe correlates with sentience. So if uh, a 3D printer can put molecule uh -huh. by molecule yeah, in yeah. the right place yeah. to create biology, yeah. then yes, it yeah. would be yeah. artificially and conscious. To me, there's no difference between the two. It's just a question of engineering and, and, and amount of time. As I said, I would be at 100,000 years rather than 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I don't think silicon computers will ever have yeah. a private conscious in their life. Yeah, no. okay, okay, and, 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 and that's right. But it's not an in-principle point, it's, a, uh, it's an engineering point. In our lifetimes, uh, the difference uh, 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 dis in principle <laughs> extends well beyond your life and my Look, life. Uh, uh, Robert, I, I, I have a doctorate in computer engineering too. Yeah, and, and by the way, I'm running an AI company right now, oh. developing hardware for AI. Uh, once you know down to the individual wire and gate how a computer works, you know that you can do all that in principle with pipes, water, and pressure valves. Yeah, sure. It would be the size of a moon, <laughs> yeah, right. but you can do yeah. chat GPT running on pipe, water, right. pipes, water, yeah. and pressure valves. Right. Who would think that pipe, water, and pressure valves would become conscious 
if you just add a few more at some point. Yeah. It, it is a completely logical idea. Can I categorically refute it? No, but I can't categorically refute the flying spaghetti monster either. It's a question of what we have good reasons to, to entertain as a plausible hypothesis. But under materialism, it, the consciousness would be the product of the physical world in some configuration of subatomic particles or yes. quantum fields or something. And if you can learn to manipulate those in a way to reproduce it, you'd, you be, could able do to, that. you'd be able to do it. Can we do it in our lifetime? No. Can we do it, in, in my view, in, in a thousand years? It's, I doubt it. But when but, we but, do it, it will look like wet biology. Okay, oh, whatever it looks like. Wh whatever it looks like. Can we agree? It doesn't have to look exactly like wet biology, it just has to have whatever, because it's computational functionalism. That it, it's, it can be instantiated, because that's, that's the materialist point of view. Now I want to go to under idealism. How does, how does that, our conversation, so now materialism is off the table and the, <coughs> the metaphysical reality is idealism. How does the argument change, if at all? So under analytic idealism, everything exists in a form of subjectivity right. that does not have spatial boundaries. Right. So if you take the unified field, that's the field of subjectivity of analytic idealism. So everything is in consciousness. That doesn't mean that everything is conscious in and of itself. It doesn't mean that a glass of water is conscious. In other words, that it has a private conscious point of view of its own. In the same sense that it doesn't seem that an individual neuron in your head has a private conscious point of view of its own. If it has, you have no access to it. There is something it is like to be Robert. There isn't something it is like right. to be a single neuron right. in Robert's head. Right. Right. In that same sense, under analytic idealism, there is something it is like to be the, 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 the um, inanimate universe as a whole. But there isn't anything it is like to be a silicon computer or a glass of water uh, or a rock. Right. or a moon in that inanimate universe. Right. The rock, the glass of water, the computer, the moon exist in a field of subjectivity, but they don't have private subjectivity of their own, right. at least not necessarily. Right. So I think, I think what I'm hearing is that your analysis of why AI consciousness is, uh, uh, is not doable in a practical sense for a very long time, uh, is the same if idealism and materialism w w yes. doesn't, it's, ir it's irrespective of the metaphysics, the fundamental metaphysics of idealism versus uh, um, uh, materialism. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very empirically driven. I take my hints from nature. And nature is showing me that I have good reasons to think that even amoeba have a private conscious point of view of, of their own. They build little shells for themselves yeah. out of mud particles yeah. to protect themselves. You know, they exhibit behavior that we associate with a private conscious point of view. So do paramecium um, um, and all life. But uh, I don't think nature gives us any reason to think that a volcano has a private conscious point of view of its own.